In lesson 9.6, we're going to talk about other angles that are created both inside a circle and outside of a circle using chords, t tangents, and secants. The first theorem we're going to talk about is to find an, an angle created on the interior of the circle by two chords. The measure of the angle formed by two chords that intersect inside the circle is equal to half the sum of the measures of the intercepted arcs. Anytime you're finding a measure of an angle on the inside that's not the center point, you're going to add the two intercepted arcs and then divide by two, otherwise known as finding the average of the two arcs. Hit pause and on your worksheet answer questions one through four using that theorem. So on the next uh, theorem we have the statement, the measure of an angle formed by two secants or two tangents or a secant and a tangent drawn to a point outside the circle is equal to half the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So notice in the first theorem we're talking about an angle that's created on the interior of the circle and in the next theorem we're talking about an angle that's created on a point outside of the circle. So here are the three examples. Using two secants you can see that the secants go through the circle. Angle one is equal to half of the difference between x and y. Same thing with the tangents, they're drawn outside the circle. Angle 2 is also outside the circle. Subtract x and y, divide by 2. And the drawing for case number 3 would take the tangent and the secant. Take the intercepted arc, subtract x and y, and divide by 2. Hit pause and answer questions 5 through 8 now. All right, looking at this example here, we have two problems. We're going to find the measure of the arc in number 15 and the measure of the angle in number 16. Hit pause and answer those questions now. Because point C is outside the circle, we have to subtract the two arcs, negative 12 plus 21x and 12x minus 24. Subtract the two, divide them by 2, and then set that equal to 6x minus 12. When you do that, you should find that x equals uh, 12 and then once you do that, you plug 12 in and you get 120 for that. Many people might get confused with number 15 thinking that DB, because the tangent is here, that arc DB or BD is this distance all the way around here. Remember, anything, anytime we're talking about an arc that only has two letters, we're talking about the minor arc. So we're talking about this arc right here. In number 16, we have a tangent and a secant. And with that example, we're going to take the difference of 58 and 6, x, 6 plus 14x, divide them both by 2, and then uh, set that equal to 2x plus 14. When you do that to find the measure of angle DEG, you're going to find that that angle is 30 degrees. The chart on the bottom of, your, of the back side of the page has a good example for each of the problems that we've talked about so far. If the vertex is at the center of the circle, meaning it's the center point, then the central angle and the arc are congruent. If the vertex is on the circle, then the arc and the angle are half. The arc is double the angle, and the angle is half of the arc. If the vertex of the angle that you're trying to find is inside the circle, we're going to add the two, add the two intercepted arcs and then divide by 2. And finally, if the angle is anywhere outside the circle, like in the examples of 15 and 16, you're going to subtract the arcs and then divide by 2. Numbers 9 through 18, use the complex drawing at the bottom of the page. Do your best to decipher what angles they're talking about and solve numbers 9 through 18 and bring the rest to class tomorrow.